In this lab at the University of Colorado, researchers recreate conditions in space. This machine sucks air from a tube so scientists can accelerate earthbound dust to the speed of dust in space. We've even reached 107 kilometers per second as our fastest particle that we've had here. Research assistant so David James says these tests may lead to more puncture-proof spacecraft and space suits. His interest in space engineering began over 10 years ago when he and other students, including Tiffany Finley, constructed a dust counter for the 2006 New Horizons mission to Pluto. And as a student project, it's one of the first where students actually got to build hardware on the mission. Finley is now science operations manager for the entire New Horizons space mission. Mihaly Hiranyi, the faculty advisor for the student dust counter, says the project has helped train nearly three dozen students. Look at these young people, how well educated, how well trained, how ready to do real work they are. After nine years and nearly five billion kilometers, New Horizon is finally approaching Pluto. Six instruments that hibernated during the journey are now beaming back data. The seventh, the student dust counter, has been active since it was launched. Haranya says dust counters have helped researchers better understand the rare but devastating nature of dust hits. 100 micron sized particles like the thickness of your hair, if they ever hit the spacecraft at 10, 15 kilometers per sec, that's an end of mission event. It's over. It will puncture a hole. It will destroy the mission. Fortunately, only a handful of particles a week have hit the student dust counter, and they haven't done any damage. But that means a lot of objects may be colliding far out in space. To produce that handful a week impact rate, out and the outskirts of the solar system, you have to produce six ton of dust every second. Haranya suspects that 5,000 kilograms of dust per second comes from the Kuiper Belt, a ring of small, icy worlds, including Pluto, at the edge of our solar system. After a five-month exploration of Pluto, most New Horizons instruments will shut down. But as the craft continues its journey through the Kuiper Belt, the student dust counter will keep counting. For VOA News, I'm Shelley Schlender in Boulder.